Dude, you're gonna, don't hurt your hand. Oh! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to episode two of turning our Supra into a drift car. In today's episode, you can expect this Supra to no longer look like a Supra. We're gonna be welding it. We're gonna be taking the glass out. We're gonna be taking the full interior out. There is no turning back after today. Before we get into it, I'd like to address some of the comments we saw in episode one. A few of the top comments that we saw, literally I think we all read the comment section. I have a notes list. Dylan literally scanned all of it and was like, I'm gonna- Not all of it, just some of it. You guys have made it clear that you really like the duck bill on the back of the car. I want to push for the wing. Maybe we can switch it up, but Both. I just feel like the wing's very cool. But hey, I hear you guys and I appreciate you voicing what you like more because it does impact what we do ultimately. Number two, I saw a lot of comments questioning when Dylan and I referenced that we are going to be kind of paving the way with an A90 drift build. Some of you said, what about Osbo? What about Simon Olsen who compete in Formula D with this chassis? Now, while yes, they do use a Supra chassis, they don't use any of the factory driveline. They have a sequential gearbox. They have have a winter's quick change in the back. They have a crazy modified B58 engine setup. Before we even started this whole build, I called Steph Papadakis. If you're into the super world, you'll know who he is. I called Steph personally and I'm like, Steph, what can you tell me about this car? And he was like, honestly, Tej, I can't really help you because we don't use anything from what this car came with. When we say we're gonna be kind of paving the way, no one has drifted this with this transmission. There's a few people outside of the US. No one has really tested the electronic power steering rack in this car. No one's really modified it to that degree. So we are gonna be paving the way in that sense. Lastly, man, Dylan, you got chewed up in the comment section about this. Is this an A90 or an A91? I swear on my paperwork from the dealership, it says it's an A91. If we are wrong, let us know. What's the difference between an A90 and an A91? Well, someone said it was an options package, but guess what? But for what? But, but guess what? You might have the options package, so it might be an A91. I don't know. If you know Toyotas, tell us. I thought 2020 is A90 and then everything up is an A91 because there's difference in the engine specs. I don't know. If you know, let us know down below. This morning, we also started to get a bunch of our parts that we ordered for the Supra. We're kind of stacking a bunch of our stuff here, but I'm really proud to announce that Throttle is going to be our part sponsor for the year. And they are really coming in clutch and helping us get these parts as soon as possible because our race season is going to be starting fairly, fairly soon. And we're trying to build the Supra as fast as possible. And with their quick shipping and all the inventory that they can pull. We're getting parts super, super fast. And for the whole entire year, you guys can now use code TJHUNT at Throttle and you can get up to 50% when you're shopping for car parts. The information is on screen and you can also check the links down below in the description to go ahead and get your parts as soon as possible. Let's get into today. I put the over fender back up to this so I can trim this as high as I can so we have perfect clearance. And then I'm gonna take a flap disc or a sander and take like a quarter to a half inch edge down so it's raw metal. And then what I'm gonna do is take this, clean up the inside as much as I can, roll it up to the body edge like that, do it attack just enough so it's structurally gonna stay there. And then, um, what? Nothing. <laughs> I have a fucking piece of plastic hey, I'm in my, in my hair. hair. I'll tack them and then I'll seam seal everything. Dylan was even saying that he just fucking like body filler and makes it all nice. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna seam seal it so smoke doesn't get inside of the cap. Wait, hold on. Product placement. Product placement. Oh. Product, what are you doing? Wait, hold on. Wait. We love you, Valvoline. Ta da! Yeah. We get to demonetize for this? No, I don't think so. Okay. I wasn't rolling the camera, but I just watched Dylan completely shred the top of his hand. It and it wasn't even the grinder. There, she's like, just throw a band-aid on it. Just hit it, She's hit it good. a couple times, you're good. Walk it off. That's exactly what I was this doing. That's exactly what he was doing, and he just <laughs> slipped straight in. Hey, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a four-year-old, sorry. I'm already taking apart the interior while homeboy over there is putting things back together. I'm gonna go ahead and take this seat out. It took a little bit. I'll show the process on the other side if you want to see it, if Tony decides to film it. Oh, I'm gonna film but it. But I'm gonna remove the seat right now from the driver's side. Okay. I don't want to hit the door! TJ, you're gonna hit the door! This oh, is why we not... can't have TJ do it. Okay, I mean, okay, okay, okay. I don't want... Oh! Dude. Oh my, dude, as soon as TJ gets here, dude. Go back I didn't know. The I didn't know there was a seat belt motor attached to dude. it. Here, I'll get the back side of the door. Oh, it's attached. Here. So, all right, so last we're gonna have doors and tires and front bumpers mashed into the side of it in a month. You better be doing the mashing instead of getting mashed into. Okay. Calvin, you're so strong and handsome. Oh right. God. Did you did you tell him that 
one of them is already coming allegedly to buy everything today. In the last video, we said, hey, we're gonna be selling everything. We got a bunch of DMs from a bunch of you guys, and we think one of you is gonna come and just buy every single piece. Some so we'll keep you updated like, if this like, actually happens. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Wait, it's not, that I, it's not maybe it. I'm right. I am right. This is like when you're younger, and your parents are arguing in front of you and you don't know which side to take, so you just sit there awkwardly and stare at the ground and kind of kick dirt on the ground. <laughs> and then you realize it's your fault and then you live your whole life with it. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and, th and then you grow up to be 28 years old and you don't know how to express your feelings and you don't know how to take compliments and you don't, Whoa. you always feel like everything is your fault. Oh, did you, and then you're 32 and you feel like you're not good enough, you don't deserve any of it. <laughs> and then your parents weren't even in, like together married when you were born or before or after and they're like, listen, I just, I don't even know. And then you're just like a really confident dude. <laughs> that would suck to be those guys. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was, that just got a little too real. Oh, dude, it's just, you know, cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm removing the speaker grills. Grills. Today's video is brought to you and sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a hair subscription service that helps keeps hair on your head. There's a fact out there that haunts me every single day of my life and that it's two out of every three males will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And that's coming up real quick for some of us. And well, I don't know where Dylan is, but that's only, that's only two years for Dylan. <laughs> but with Keeps, I can sleep just a little bit better at night because they offer clinically proven treatments that combats the symptoms of hair loss and treatments are delivered straight to the customer's doors. All of this can be done from the comfort of your own home. There's no need to go anywhere. There's no need for any awkward doctor's visits. You can do this from your couch. You can speak with a licensed professional online and you can even get prescribed online. Whether you're trying to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just be ahead of the process, Keeps is there for you. The key to keeping hair on your head is getting started before the problem occurs. So get started today and get 50% off your first order by going to keeps.com forward slash hunt. That's keeps.com forward slash hunt. Get that 50% off your first order and thank me later. Thank you so much to Keeps for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to it. Don't go stealing your friend's Supra cup holders, okay? Don't go doing that. Oh. What will be curious is how much we have to remove for the cage. You even think the carpet over the trunks have to come out? Yeah. Uh, can we still keep the speakers, do you think? I think so. So we can get first place while listening to Taylor Swift? Not that I would do that or anything. Do we keep it and try and trim and put it back in? Yeah. Dad, stop. I, well, I'm just saying, we could bump some 3-6 Mafia. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite go-to for drifting. Dead serious, 3-6 Mafia. First two albums, though. Hey, hey, what do you need? Hey, whoa, be careful. The thing looks expensive. Oh, he said, he said, I need a flashlight. And he walked over to where the flashlight was charging that we just got the other day. I was just gonna use my phone, the sensible answer. I decided since we spent $150 on a flashlight, the Streamlight Stinger, not sponsored, I decided to go grab it. Well, I was gonna put my bifocals on and then get 14 candle lights so we could walk over to the bottom of the carriage. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> I decided to get my 600 lumen, indestructible, <laughs> relatively affordably priced, beautiful Streamlight. Affordably Right? Dude, I've had my stream life for Wait, 10 years. Wh who do they think $130 for Ooh, 10 My brand new Supras I've just to cut them up? Over, oh my god. I've ran it over twice and the thing's just like, Ugh, use me. Or whatever, I don't know. But what? Whoa. I don't know! Whoa. This is a process. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm taking it apart. <laughs> if it was any of these other three stooges, they'd break sh Hey, you're not wrong. I can't hear you. You're not wrong! Oh, wait, here. Oh. <laughs> I'm acting as if there's a window here. Yeah. Here's a little weird thing that I've never seen before. This shift knob, usually the leather strip breaks just below the knob. This does not. It's like a whole foreskin all the way up the shaft and the ball. So I don't know how to deal with this. Tuanicus helped me unclip the skin. It was just a few clips underneath. That's so much easier than I thought. I thought I was going to do the black panel, but you just got to finagle it and yeah. feed it into itself. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. okay, this panel comes off two clips and it slides out. So bang, pulls out. Not for sale. Calvin is not for sale. I'm, I'm keeping you. I love you. What? I'm gonna go with you. Where did he come from? 
You can't be over here. I'm off the clock. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's back. It's back. It never left. Oh, let me see this. <laughs> oh, you mean a little bit of this? <gasps> I'm gonna no. grab your little earlobe and go. The fing shorty, the shorty. Oh. The chubby. 210 doesn't work, huh? Or I got you again, dude. <laughs> no, you didn't. I... Oh, oh, ooh. Yeah, it's caught on the ship. That's in a keep pile, bud. Oh! What? What? Whoa. Whoa. Huge. <laughs> While Dylan is tackling the outside of the car and welding up the fenders and getting those things all sealed up, Calvin and I are working on the interior. As you can see, there's been a lot of progress. What was once a Supra is no longer a Supra. Calvin's done a great job at taking off the center console. Calvin is really good with interior and just like disassembling things. He's always been really good at it. Actually, Dylan tried to help like a minute ago and snapped one thing instantly and was kicked off that? of interior help. Why is that the only thing that you mentioned? I, d I mentioned that you were doing the welding. You excel at that. So uh, I'm currently working on the front carpet. This is a BMW and they're nice. And this thing is so heavily tucked. I've removed a few different carpets, uh, whether it's been for RX-7s, 350Zs, 370, 370Zs. mom's carpet. Got him. And this is tough, man. This is, look how thick this is. Like, yeah, no surprise. It's, Dude, it's nuts. This is what plays into sound deadening and why the car sounds so quiet on the inside. They do a lot of really good insulation. So hopefully we get this thing out soon. I've been hit by a lot of cars. Have you actually been hit by a car before? Uh, in a car, on a motorcycle, walking, skating, oh. <laughs> in another car. I totaled a car with my body twice in my life. Impressive. Fun fact. Well, looks like we're not selling that. That was an accident. Top comment on the video. We're all gonna autograph this mirror shield and we're gonna sign it and send it to you. You better say something funny. That worked out very well. I did it. I did it! Oh God. How does that come out? I think you have to fold it. What if you just go out the front of the windshield? It's too quick. You're supposed to unclip these. Huh? Okay. Oh my god, okay. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah, that, that was rough. Now I can get the airbags out. Yeah, I <laughs> Not a clip was broken. First time in my life for everything, you know? Impromptu NOS ad? Mongo, for you. Mongo, para tu. Uh, gracias. Mongo, para mi. Mongo like Mongo. Por que no los dos? On the brand new shop floor. Dude. That would have been messed up. Look at the fucking floor. <clears throat> you won't look at the floor. This is how we get ants. Don't! Dylan! Ah! Dylan! <laughs> no! I think I taste some RB in there. Was Mickey in here? <laughs> <laughs> Bad idea waiting to happen. I know. It well, is. the carpets are coming out. Carpets coming out, so. <laughs> I'm no professional at this, but I will say this machine's very smart, really nice. I realized, I don't know why I didn't before, but it was on like 14 gauge, so at 20 gauge, and then, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 wait, wait, home button. There's a home button, wait, no, yep, okay. I'm like, this thing's dummy proof, and now I'm just like, there it is. Okay, and then it gives you these ranges. So I'm gonna kinda err on the low side. Again, not a professional. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. What you're seeing is the aftermath of getting ripping that thing out. The final hour has come. Unfortunately, I'm beginning to learn that the entire dashboard has to come out. So what I suspected, typically the carpet is the first thing in the car when they put it together at the factory. So, so unfortunately I have to go to the TJ route and Cut it out. I'm gonna cut, cut it out. 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 You could stand on it if you wanted to. This is pretty good. No dentage? 
No, it seems I fun. mean, a little bit of warpage in there, but... Usually if you stand on a thing and... Boom! Shoot! Oh. Oh. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I'm very I'm impressed. Fine. Oh! <laughs> That happened in a span of like maybe two minutes, but that took them like four hours. Got it out. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan. Oh God. Dude, don't hurt your hand. Oh. <laughs> That's a good phase. Oh, my bad. Oh. Look at that. That's sick. Oh wow, that is sick. Oops. Starting to kind of look like a race car. We're now gonna move on to a very highly anticipated part and that is cutting the roof off. We've never done this before. It should be pretty easy. The roof is attached from factory with a bunch of spot welds and we're pretty much just gonna be drilling all those out. And I think the thing should just tear apart, hopefully. Dude, watch out for the paint. Watch out oh, for the paint. Oh, dude, uh, are you kidding me? So yes, that is the reason why we've been so aggressive on this roof and we've been standing on it is because we're gonna be replacing the whole entire thing. And once you drill this thing out, no one's gonna buy a drilled out spot. I don't think so. Would you ever buy this? Uh, it's no, it's drilled it, out. It, well, it's dented. It has holes say it in the wasn't. paint. Oh, could you? I don't know. Yeah, yeah like if you if you wrecked it's your, a weird thing to buy. If I you wrecked feel. your car, I feel like you totally could. But probably most people wouldn't because yeah. this is gonna be the least harmed part if you ever crash your yeah. car. Regardless, I'm excited. So all these little Can dents right here, everyone, we're going to be drilling those out. Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on each side. And then it also runs in the front and it also runs in the rear. So let's get to drilling out these holes. See how easy it is to take off. Dylan, why don't you show us this new tool you just brought in today? What happened? I dropped, I didn't know, I wasn't looking and I dropped the wire wheel on it on accident. Well, hold on, why am I Dude, getting blood? why are you bleeding? This is why everyone in the comments yells at you to wear gloves and you know right? Yeah, I know. Just like my dad, they can keep yelling at me. I ain't gonna do nothing. This is called a spot weld drill. And so what it does, it has, well, I don't know why it's so rounded, but anyways, uh, it has like a brooch on it. And so you center punch and then you put this on the center punch and then you depress the spring. Instead of going through both, including the metal that we want to keep, it only goes through the spot weld portion of the top sheet. Cool. Well, let's get to let's drilling. Drill it. Woo! Get, let's get to drilling. <laughs> Dylan and I in the past couple days have been looking for a different hood. Now Street Hunter has a hood coming out later, but not for a while. So we were kind of scanning the market of what hoods we wanted to run just to get some heat ventilation, just to dissipate as much heat as possible. You know, there were a bunch of different options out there, but we came across one specific hood that we absolutely loved. It's from a company called Sabre Designs. I'm gonna link them on screen. And I'm a big supporter of supporting brands and companies that just make dope shit. And I wanna give them a special shout out. This hood is super dope. I reached out to him. I'm like, yo, do you have anything in stock? He's like, we're currently out of stock on all of our hoods. It's a monthly time, but he's like, I'm willing to give you the one off of my car. What's up, dude? Hey, dude. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to see you. You were a friend before. with Kevin. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then he said you had a twin brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what? so you're Caleb, and your yeah. brother's name is what? Josh. Josh. You guys came over to the uh, imports at UCI meet like yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah. I think we actually filmed a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we're, that's crazy. Well, yeah. super cool. Small nice world. to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this is so cool looking. I appreciate you coming out here. Yeah, of course. I, are you just gonna take this off and then drive home with no hood? Yeah, no <laughs> f***s given. I respect it, I respect it. This thing yeah. is so cool. So I really like that you made this functional, yep. which yep. on the soft hood it's not. But I mainly just love this like deep scoop. It gives it gives like a race car vibe. Right? Yeah, but like yeah, really, like it kind of reminds me of like a D1 GP setup. Yeah. Like something you see like in like a hood, or like you have a really good flow through. D1 GP is a really good example. Yeah, like, I don't know. I just I liked it a lot. Well, it's so yeah. super dope. So it was like a month lead time. So you know when I yeah. post this, everyone's gonna reach out to you and ask them for a hood. So you better start making some soon. Dude, I'll start to get some on pre order. Yeah, talk yeah, to my you manufacturer. Like, you, you better start, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. These are so cool. Right? Oh yeah, you did double sided. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, beautiful, man. And our hood is about 10% lighter than the OEM hood. Dude, good job. So we're not That's heavier, sick. which was the goal. <laughs> which is, as you probably know, a lot of aftermarket hoods yeah, that do fiberglass are heavier than yeah. the OEM. But, you know, regardless, yeah. absolutely beautiful, man. It's a little beat up because I tracked with hey, it. Hey, this car's going to get thrown into walls, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather it like this. We're going to do product testing on it. Yeah, for I'll, you. I'll test it for you. Know, yeah. Know, yeah, so cool, man. We're going to take a break from the, from the roof. 
We're gonna take this head off because we're really excited for this. All right, so a little hood swap. That's so good. What do you think? I think it's so good looking, dude. Wow. I like, can't wait to see it now with delivery and we'll have certain bits exposed. It's gonna look really good when we have the carbon fenders on too. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, now there's a lot of carbon on the car. Oh. See, it works on the black car. On the white car, I was like, uh. Yeah. Okay, well, I need, I need to it, the this. thing is, is I like carbon hoods on white cars, but this is such a huge hood. Yeah. It makes it on the white car, it makes the car look shorter. Yes, agreed. Oh, that's cool. So I'm back on the roof. I just had to drill a little deeper. I started shallow, drilled a little deeper. Use this little wedge right here, split it open, and then I'm just chasing it down. And this is gonna be the easiest part, so I can't wait for the rest of it. <laughs> Should split right like here. Whoa! That was it. All right, now it's just the rear. Yeah. To drill out the back spot welds on the roof, it's really hard with this hatch in the way. So rather than removing it, because there's like a bunch of clips and it's like very much tethered together, Dylan went ahead and just removed the struts and disassembled the brackets on the back. And I think we're just gonna try to push it back and rest it on the back rather than disconnecting everything, if that makes sense. Oh, sheesh. Yep. Basically, there's a spot weld here, which is right behind the plastic portion of this. I just, you have to get that off. You have to we take it off. And then there's all these here, which is kind of impossible to glass, even all the way up, unless they have like a 90 angle drill bit. And then we just gotta make sure it doesn't slide off. No, which... it seems, I'll stand here and hold this. I don't think it's going anywhere. Is there anything else? That needs to be drilled out there? No, it's just the resin. Uh, it's mainly just right here still. All right, hold on. Hold it for a moment. If we want, we can just get the chisel and just break them. It's right here. Dude. That was sick. Dude. Never done that before. And another classic example of Dylan being a five-year-old. Let's see it, Dylan. Give it your f***ing all. <laughs> oh, this dude? Oh, I thought he was gonna do that too. I was like, that's gonna slip. I've, I've never done this before, so it's like, I, you know, I, I get it. Like, I, I want this. It. It's like sensory stuff. Yeah. Standard. Oh, standard. Yep. Comes with every brand new Supra. Oh, just a third visor. Yep. Where's Twan's reflection? Wait, wait. I'm going down. Right there. Got it. Locked in. You can only see the camera though. I'm just gonna come with that. Oh, no. Oh, and that's that. Oh, hey, wow. Dish. Dish. I don't recommend anyone ever doing that. Why would you ever remove your dash? What are you doing? Oh, this is the one that you bust. Oh, he busted yeah. that one. Ooh, oh, close. I, I, oh, close, close, close. Hold on, I, I want to try now. You miss every time. No, I don't. You, I, I miss every time? You miss every time. Watch the. Oh, you went over the ladder? No, I went through it. Let's fing go. Yeah, Get fing both of you. Absolute laser. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you look really hard, you can see that it. That was edited. Apparently, that was edited. What happens is. The visor leaves the frame yeah. and it comes back in. <laughs> yeah. So clearly, we don't know what actually happened. So that's on record. Just let that be known. So we got the main dash out, but that wasn't, you know, there's really two parts. Main dash, that's out. So now the second part that needs to come out is pretty much the infrastructure of what's underneath the pretty dash, which it's this big, ugly piece oh. of cast He's aluminum. Like, oh, oh, the dash, got it. Yeah. Wow. Talk about spaghetti, dude. Don't touch my mom's spaghetti. Okay, there's a big jet flying over, screwing in this clip for us. Dude, they've been on one today. I know, it's That's like they're turning those UFOs hundreds. out of the sky. I know, Montana, Alaska, Yukon, or wherever. The reason why we're taking this portion of the dash out is because when we get the cage, there is a big front dash bar, I don't know what you'd call it, but there's like a dash bar that will run from each pillar 
each pillar. Oop, not your butt, the pillar. I think back dash bar was dash good. Bar? Yeah, dash bar? I don't bar. even know what you call it. From the A pillar to A pillar? Dash bar. Oh. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to get rid of the H back system. Oh my god, this is be one more. Whoa, dude! Whoa! Uh, whoa, don't yeah. touch it! Hey, whoa! What, dude? Whoa, dude. Uh, so, whoa, where she goes? How the f are we gonna get that back in? I just don't know. So now we still need to get this HVAC system out of here. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't think it's called an HVAC system. That's it's what Dylan a... called it, so I called it an HVAC system. If it's wrong, it's, a, it's a refrigerator. Dylan. Did I say in the top comment of this video we'll this, sign the this thing? Video, yeah. Yeah, let me go get that. Okay. Dude, I think it's so hot. I'm like very proud of it. I think it's awesome. I think the hood you got today was bitching. Man, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm super juiced on it. Came out dope. I'm a super little... cool. Just wait till we get the real wing on the back. Get rid of this duck bill. It's gonna look a lot better. Straight hundred V2 wing. Ooh, triggered so many of you guys down below. I said <laughs> that we would sign this in this episode and throw it away. So the top comment of this episode. I don't know how we're gonna get it to you. I'll try to message you and maybe we'll get your information. I think that's the best way to do it. I'm gonna sign this and I'm gonna make Dylan sign it. I'm gonna make Calvin sign it. We'll send it out to you. So be creative or just say something really useful and have everyone thumbs it up. This is where we're gonna end today's episode. So good looking. Big shout out to Saber for this hood. Big shout out to Throttle for being our part supplier and literally getting all of our parts in. We're about to finally move on to that step. The gut removal has been the longest amount of time we've spent on the car so far. We're really focusing on not rushing out episodes like every other day to give you guys like full and complete episodes. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you're like, Teach, upload more. We're really trying to like make every episode have a really good amount of progress. This removal took a really long time, plus the dash, plus everything else. Now we have fenders welded. We just need the cage to get in. Dylan designed that like a Neanderthal. I knew it. Dylan. I knew it. Dude, you did that to you, someone's car in yeah. Florida. You want genuine Dylan, you get genuine Dylan. There you go, pal. Uh, so we'll send this out to you guys. Look, oh look, we're gonna send this out to you. That's oh. what that's what you look like if you've never looked in the mirror. Do it do it again. Oh I put yo. You put yo. <laughs> yo. It's supposed to say you. <laughs> But it looks like yo. <laughs> it's a really fat tip marker. Thank hey, you guys for watching this episode. We will see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving. Dude, I'm gonna get lit up again in the again. comments about that shit. Protect your middies, dude. <laughs> Many petty time. <laughs>